The Society is thrilled to host you for our second annual Middle School Research Teachers Conference. Because we're hosting the conference online, we're able to open the conference to every middle school STEM teacher in the country. I think it was a wonderful opportunity that's going to give us a lot of tools, a lot of knowledge on how to assist our students in STEM research, um, be able to talk about the challenges that we face with our students in doing STEM research, and then also just building our own networks with each other in the STEM ecosystem. We got a chance to collaborate more and go to the workshop, so understanding how a teacher here in South Carolina can get involved with the plethora of different programs free programs that can enrich my students. That's one of the biggest things that I got out of being part of this research conference. There is step-by-step -step process for how your students can reach out to a professor and ask for help. How should we deal with potentially increased parental involvement? And I would encourage the parents and the students to recognize that a big part of going through scientific research is failure. Here are some tips for teachers. So I highly rely on technology. What you can do is have students type their response, then not hit enter until the teacher says enter. All of the responses come in at the same time and it gives this waterfall effect. Even little agar plates made it to the mail and I, I told them if it was contaminated to let me know. Utilize what you have around at home and utilize those cell phones. Definitely a great way for them to get started and a great way to get them excited about research. Talk about how having different kinds of people do research is crucial to seeing problems and questions in science from many different angles. We talk about inequities that some minorities in the schools may have and actually how to empower teachers to become better research teachers at the same time building relationships with these uh, minorities. What we see nationwide is that students, both tribal and non-tribal, tend to drop off from being interested in STEM in middle school, and so that's why it's so critical to keep them engaged in middle school. We understand and appreciate that the future success and leadership of the nation belongs to our future innovators. However, we also believe that the integral piece in this equation is you, their teachers. I want you to hear that you inspired me. You are a hero, not only to me, but so many students. So here's the question for you. What are you going to do in your classroom, in your profession, to make something that is ordinary, extraordinary to your students? 